Good afternoon, poker masters and such like. I may or may not have a box. May or may not have seen it before. Guardian Rising box. But why not bit and light? Because reasons. I need those tapus. I need tapu coco in my life. So pop it off. I just wanna start off. But I just care to be doing this. Just as I often do with uh, in the train boxing, which I haven't had an in the train box in a while. I just like to appreciate the artwork. Just from the, the packaging itself, I thought, you know what? Let's give you guys some artwork as well. Just just a little something. I will keep that with the rest of my artwork stuff. <laughs> my elite train boxes in the past. You have a set list for the set, which is really useful, uh, I think, because most collectors will probably get only train them up because of the box. It's really useful to have an actual set to hand. And these are actually kind of useful as well. I make shelves out of them for things. So, I'm going to put that to one side. Oh yeah, there's also Pokemon TV. Okay. Is it? Oh. I might actually have to install that because I do want to watch the anime. I've heard it's good. And a new thing, of course, with these new early trainer boxes, you do get, obviously, other than, aside from the damage, aside from the damage counters, dice, and the other stuff, you get, also get, and the least thing, you get, obviously, those, poison, and burn counters. Wow, Jex, you're not very good at showing things off. But also, you get a GX, uh, flipper now, because that's a new thing. And it's quite nice. I think it's like, I don't know what material it's made out of, like, some sort of, it might be plastic, I don't think, I don't necessarily think it's plastic, it's, I don't know, um, stick those, mm -hmm. of course you get the Tapu Cocos leaves, 60 of them I believe, which are pretty cool, I'll probably put my Electro deck in that, since I have one, um, a stack of energy cards of every type, in the new, Alolan style. Just... Bleh. I'm not going to drop them like I was planning on doing so, but just... Just believe me, there's like 40 odd energy. I think there's like about 10 of each type. And then we have the Guardian's Rising Dice, which should feature the set symbol. Good for damage counters and just other things in general. Have, of course, Tapu Coco symbol. Well, at least the Tapu symbol. Uh, that's the big one. And one of them is always. I think one of them is always, almost always transparent. So that will go into the thing. Uh, you do, of course, get a code card, which I will not convenient at the moment. Um, some dividers. Four of them, yes. Useful for the collectors. And you get one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight boosters. Which would equate to the four times eight, which is what you got. About thirty two pounds worth. Since I got this actual box for thirty quid, that's not bad. You know the thing, minus everything else. You know, in fact I save money but if I would have just bought packs, then if I would buy just packs. Okay, maybe it's not exactly forty two, but a prox. Okay, a prox. One, two, three, four. So we've got a fire energy. How? Not how. Color. Wrong, wrong generation. Aether Paradise Conservation Area. The Nilish. Patty Lil. Catching. A Lowland Cheer Dude. Barboach. Rock Rough. A Lowland Sanctuary, which is actually really good because defense call. And Sharpedo, which looks like it's crying almost. I guess that's just the water rushing off her, but it does kind of look like it's crying. Bless. Kind of an angry but cute looking small. Angry yet cute. And then with a rock, rock, lichen rock, uh, another one. Let's see. One, two, three, four. We have Fairly, a Machoke. Interesting. Max Potion. 
Tentacruel, apparently an uncommon in this, lol, that's good there. Gligar, Litwick, Kaveri! Tentacruel, so both parts in this one set. Cast form, we have a reverse holographic rare Whizcash, and Heliolisk, which I'm actually very glad about because I'm using Heliolisk in my deck. See, Lola Nine Tails pack is being opened. One, two, three, four. We have a Steel Energy, Choice Band, Matang, Fable, Jang Mo'o, Trubbish. Yes, you are Trubbish. Wilma, Woo Woo, Tello. Phantom, Slowpoke, and Turtonator. So far, nothing. We have Electric Energy, Machoke again, Max Potion, Integral. Max Potion is actually useful though. Clefairy, Vanillite. I don't know what that cave is. Maybe it's the ice cave from the Dimension Fire or something? Or... Wishy washy! Reprint. Goomy. Goomy count is at one. Windpod. We have a reverse holographic uncommon Brook of Hill. Once during each player's turn, that player may search the deck for a basic water or basic fighting type Pokemon on the bench. Why fighting? That doesn't make any sense since Brook Hill has no fighting types in it, to my knowledge. And oh my god, is it top? Oh my god, is it top? Look at the little small. It's adorable. Is it Sylvia? It's tiny. Its eyes are standing into my soul, but it's adorable, and it's a GX. So that's good. I'm sorry, I went a bit crazy there, but it's adorable. And I don't care. <laughs> I just I don't care how crazy that made me look. It's adorable. And I love it. Pack number five. Uh, one, two, three, four. So, we have a fighting energy. Altar of the Sun. Sheer steel attack has no weaknesses. Alone Graveler. Legendary. Gothita. Patrat. Weird. Um, Carvana. Is Patrat even in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? I know it's not in Main Sun and Moon. Um, Cottony. Bell Sprout. Uh, Merini, Uncommon. Weird how a stage one isn't an, a stage zero isn't uncommon. And Arkirio in its ghost form. I'd make a joke about ghosts dancing. Oh, let me take these out as well. More shells for my use of. And there we have a like and rock booster. Come on, Dane. Dane's game. Ah, shite. One, two, three, four. So we have a psychic energy. Rampant. Sort of what all? Field blower. Glyphary. Vanillite. She was you. Gumi. Gumi Camp 2. Um, Wimpod. We have a reverse holographic Ram Machamp. This attack does 80 more damage for each prize card your opponent took on their last turn. Ow. And submission to study damage to self, which don't matter. And Whale Lord, which is actually. Which opens. Uh, dive is annoying. It's like 200 health, has an attack, which means it can not take damage sometimes. Oh, sorry, and all effective attacks are doing damage, so you can't even paralyze or poison it if dive is successful. And open sea heals 30 damage from each of your war types. I mean, I get it. 
It's a 4 for an 80, but it heals everything, including itself, which is kind of bull. I love it. I love it. One, two, three, four. So, we have one grass energy. Whimsy cough. Hakama o. Another matang. Litwick. Small to fairly small. Tentacle. Not small. Cast form. Graffita. A reverse holographic rare swallow. With agility. Oh yeah, so many of these moves that can prevent the effects of everything. And swallow dive if it does use agility. Last turn it does 120. Oh damn! And a Lowland Sands Lash, which oh slush rush. Once before during a turn, you may draw a card for free. That's good. And the game is getting kind of broken lately, isn't it? There's so many things that you just think that's so broken. I mean, it's kind of going the way of Yu-Gi-Oh. One, two, three. We have a water energy. We have a lampant. We have a pseudo Field blower. Geodude. Machop. There we go. Trubbish. Petalil. Jensi. Stufel. And a Goodler. So, Goomy count three. I don't care if it's the evolver. It's still a Goomy. Power Whip does 20 damage times the amount of energy you the Pokemon. One of your opponent's Pokemon, not necessarily your opponent's defending, but just any particular one of them. And beat, beat Saliva, your opponent switches their active with one of their benched. But one thirty with just three energy. Not bad, but I've seen better in this new stuff. Maybe a few sets ago, might have been considered broken. But now, not. So we got one GX this pack, this opening. Uh, I don't think it was great for eight pack, but we got one, two, two three reverse hollow rails, two of which are fighting types, a dragon, and of course, dismal, and some stuff on my deck, and then a bunch of stuff, and of course, all the rest of the jargon that comes with it, which is good though, it's good jargon. I really have to sort out my collection at some point because damn, I have a lot of stuff. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you did. Comment down below as well what you thought the best pull of the opening was. And this is Sketch signing off. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye for now.